All right, I'll show you one more with router 2, let's say. We'll go into router 2. I'll try to do this quickly. So go into interface serial 2 slash 0. And I'm going to need to get rid of the IP address. No IP address 10.0.0.2. Okay, and no capsulation no encapsulation frame relay. Okay, so that resets the interface. All right, all right, control C. All right, I'm going to go back in now. All right, interface serial 2 slash 0. Oops, interface serial 2 slash 0 and I'm gonna turn encapsulation frame relay back on alright now frame relay is back on um, I'm gonna do a no shut make sure the make sure the interface is up which we already knew it was up but still it's good to do that because it might be a shut down interface the first time you get there now we can go into the sub interfaces so interface serial 2 slash 0 dot and now I'm going to name them after my DLCI so 201 is going to go to router 1 and 203 is going to go to router 3 so we'll start with 201 so 201 point point to I was trying to get tab completion to work point to point okay so now I'm in sub interface mode and I can do IP address and let's see what IP address we said so going this way would be 10.0.0.2 10.0.0.2 .0 .0 .0 with a 24 slash 24 subnet mask whoops dot 255.255.0 dot dot bandwidth 64 frame relay interface DLCI and this is 201 going to router 1 so 201 done now interface that was 201 now I'll do interface 203 going to router 3 so interface serial 2 slash 0 dot 203 point to point make another sub interface all right and set the IP address Let's just double check what we decided to do it as 10.0.2.1 all right 10.0.1.2 and bandwidth 64 and frame relay interface DLCI 203 all right all right and now that's done and so now all we have to do is the last router and we'll be all set and everything should work okay time for the last router we'll go to this router command line interface enable conf t interface 2 slash 0 no IP address dot zero dot zero dot one no IP address and then we'll say no encapsulation frame dash relay and then I can even shut it down if I want shut down the interface now I'll bring the interface back up I'll just put in interface serial 2 serial 2 slash 0 again and then I'll this time I'll give it an IP address no I won't give it an IP address I'm sorry I will say encapsulation frame relay and then no shut to turn it back up okay so now the physical interface has encapsulation frame relay and it's active now I can go into the sub interfaces so interface serial 2 slash 0 and we'll start with we will do 
103 going to router 3 first. So we'll say dot 103.2 point, point. And then IP address. We've got to give it the IP address, which will be 10.0.1.1. and then the subnet mask and then bandwidth 64 frame relay interface DLCI and this is going to router 3 so it's going to be 103 alright and that's done and now we can just do the other sub interface so I'll go up arrow until I get to this and now we're going to go to router 2 so this will be 102 point to point all right, and then IP address is 10.0.1, and then bandwidth 64, and then frame relay interface, and this is going to 102. So I'll say 102. All right, and now everything is configured and we should have communications so I'll try to communicate from 1.100 to 5.100 so we'll set that up desktop command prompt and we'll say ping 192.168.5.100 and we'll see how that goes it might take a second here and there's the reply and we're back up so now we've got our sub interfaces if you open up the router let's say control C show frame relay map you can see here that we've got our sub interfaces right uh, point to point DLCI and the DLCI numbers broadcast and perfect.